Hello, hello, hello. Good night to all. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I have um, been doing lots of things. Um, you know, doing the Most High's work is not always um, doing um, segments on radios, um, you know, to putting out segments and putting out a good word to the people. You have to be a multitasker with the Most High. And sometimes you're called to do things and be places and to help people. Because that's what it's all about. It's about us helping one another and um, being there for each other, bearing each other's burdens again. And it's about not just hearing the word and, and talking about the word, it's about actually living the word. And that's a part of living the word. He said we must bear each other's burdens. So the segment today <coughs> um, is going to be about um, education, the educational system. And I was provoked to do it a, a few days ago. Um, you know, it's, it's this atrocity right now with what's going on with the educational system and the educational um, agenda, you, you want to say, and um, and it, it, I had to do it because I hear that you know mothers and parents are being um, uh, jailed and being arrested for homeschooling their children, and that's why I played that song, Luciano. Luciano's song is called "Is Silver and Gold," and that particular part in that song says, "A good education will never decay." Um, and I, w and I wanted to emphasize on that, you know, a good education will never decay. But in this system that we um, have in the United States of America, in the Western world, their educational system, um, educational um, overall curriculum and, 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 and purpose, uh, it has so many um, detrimental downfalls to it and it is such an evil system um, within itself. So what I want to talk about today, as I already mentioned, is the educational system that's in the Western world. And I want to break down this whole educational system based on this gentleman that I've been actually, you know, following. I follow quite a few many people that, you know, speak truth and speak facts and has, um, you know, good, you know, substance of knowledge. And then I have my own understanding of knowledge. And then again, like I tell people, you always need to be independent thinkers. Think for yourself. Follow up on, follow up for yourself. Don't just um, go on what anyone say, you know, and what someone is saying. And if you feel like what you're saying doesn't set right with you, then by all means, you have that right to, you know, to question and to, you know, you inquire, you follow through with someone else who may be more knowledgeable or go and, and ideally look up this information for yourself, okay? So I follow, I've been following David Icke. Uh, he's a reputable, I think he's out of U UK, um, London, and gentleman is extremely knowledgeable and smart. He is in the spirit. He understands what that's all about. Um, and again, you know, the spirit comes, I think I mentioned that before, the spirit comes to everybody and to uh who was willing to seek and know the truth um, from Yah, Most High, Yahweh, uh, in Yeshua. And we give all praise to Yah, Yeshua. And before I start my segment, as you guys know, I always start my segment with scriptures. And, um, you know, this is the scriptures to the educational system. And, you know, you all have been doing a very wrong, wrong thing right now, a very evil thing, which you've been doing for a very long time. And the problem, the thing is now is, you know, it's being exposed for what it really is. Okay, so here's the scripture to you, educational system, and all of the agents that um, uh, are connected to the educational system from the White House all the way down. Um, education department, right? You know, uh, U.S. Department of Education. Because we know what the agenda is and we know uh, what your whole purpose 
uh, is in the educa educational system. So again, let's say this is Isaiah 5 because you know the whole world is really under this uh, the prophet Isaiah 5. Um, when I when I speak the scriptures, Isaiah 5 um, verse 19, and uh, this is his scripture for uh, today that speaks. Let him make haste. Let him speed his work that we may see it. Let the purpose of the Holy One of Israel draw near and let it come that we may know it. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and shrewd in their own sight. And woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine and valiant men in mix, mixing strong drink, who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of his right. And that is clearly where we are in this, uh, to, where we are to act right now in today's world, in the educational system, in the judicial system. Uh, that is what's happening. Everyone is being locked up for doing what's right or speaking about righteousness speaking about Yeshua or you call him Jesus you know the uh, Catholic Rome there are the underhanding uh, uh, um, components um, you know uh, evildoers that are the uh, behind who orchestrates this whole thing everything is orchestrated through them and the Zionists and the crypto Jews over there in Israel so let's talk about education and how David Icke breaks this down and I give this man much props for his um his um, analogy and his uh, intellect and his ability to just say things as it is. I have nothing but respect for this man. Now this is based on David Icke. He says, the education, the brain has two hemispheres. The education system is a system that takes young people from children four years old to 17 years old. The education system is really a system about indoctrination. And with this system, we are using a fraction of our brain. The system do not allow us to use our left side of our brain, and they do that by indoctrinating us into school, such as elementary, middle, and high school, and into college. And how this work is, uh, is, is uh, they feed you all of this information, and at the time of being tested or having an exam, you will need to regurgitate all of that information back. Okay? He says, he goes on to say, if you respond using your right side of your brain and you give the answer in a different way other than the way you study it or the way they want you to answer it, you are considered a troublemaker. <clears throat> you have to reply with the same answer that they give you to be considered successful and be accepted. This is the whole this is the whole blueprint to how the brain, how they have brainwashed and controlled the masses of people and getting them to think in the same way and to agree with any given agenda that can be unethical and unmoral. Now you can't say it any more clear than that. I mean that's exactly what the educational system is, has done has been doing and is doing at present. That's why they want to lock you up for homeschooling your children because they can't control what's being taught or what's being learned. They, they don't have the position to brainwash you adequately when you are homeschooled. Woe unto them, educational system. Woe unto you for wanting to force and lock up parents who want to teach your children the right way. Do you actually think that you are going to get away with that? Do you actually think that you're going to get away from uh, judgment of the Most High Yah. Okay? You are threading, you are committing suicide. Now, this is another gentleman that I watch, that I've been um, following uh, on YouTube. It's um, a religious gentleman. Um, I, I don't want to say his name wrong. Um, his name is Bertrand Compare. And I, I, you know what? This gentleman speaks truth and at the time when he's talking because this is a, he was born I think 1901 to 19 died, passed away in 1983 the man has lived a very long life um, and at that time you know the knowledge that was not supposed to be presented so the way he speaks he speaks is in a way that you know he, he thinks he's speaking about um, a different race of people but you know now that we know the truth because the father said in the last days knowledge will go to and fro and here we are in the last days 
and, and I want to this is a message to everyone who um, compromising good for evil and evil and, and calling evil good now he said and this is out of he said to compromise with evil is literally suicide for when we abandon right and justice we lose Yah's protection so the educational system and everybody that is in that system that is compromising good for evil, you are literally committing suicide, okay? Now let's talk about uh, the whole agenda with truth, right? And, I, and this goes out, you know, again, I always have, I want to emphasize, when we're talking about truth and, 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 and Part of the educational system is their duty is to speak and talk and teach truth. You're not just education, edu educating a society or educating a people. You're educating them for them to learn, understand, and you also need to educate them with truth. And clearly you know you're not doing that. Your purpose of education, educating people is simply to brainwash them and control them so they can do what you uh, you you want them to do and for them to be compliant in all way and everybody thinks the same I mean, you know, you're in a mass a sea a mass of people who all thinks with their left side of their brain and everyone has the same uh, uh, Outlook and perspective By fear by a few of them, you know some there's a majority of them that may you know be able to do think I think with all sides of my brain left right peripheral frontal you know what I'm saying? We have many sides to our brain, and I think we need to utilize every ounce of it, every part of it. And it, and it, it is a phenomenal organ that we have in our body that can do wonders. So here's, let's talk about truth, which is something the educational system do not want to teach. Okay? Now I want to give, this is a warning to you, and especially, and you're not, even, you know, this even goes, especially Texas. In Texas, you know, the word is that if they haven't already done this nonsense, they want to eliminate slavery out of the uh, textbook. Uh, you can take it out all you want to, but you can never remove it from history. I mean, you're such fools to think you all really can do, take out stuff and remove things, add things, and you think that, you know, that everyone uh, that is going to really accomplish your agenda. But at the time, things have to be the way it is. You know, because this is according to Yah's plan, his word will be fulfilled. And the, uh, the evil, the, you are the doomed to destruction. Okay? So I want you to know everything that your educational system uh, is doing. And you are uh, terrorizing and intimidating parents who want to really educate their children in the right way and teach them the right things. And you are trying to uh, lock them up, incarcerate them, arrest them, and um, you know persecute them because they said this is what's going to happen. I mean, educational pe uh, people are not going to just be persecuted for education, but we're going to be persecuted because we believe in Yeshua and we follow. Um, and as you always say, Jesus Christ. But let me say something to you about that. I want to tell all my people out there: you make sure to stand firm and strong. Do not succumb. To these coward people who are going around intimidating people all over to and fro. Please don't succumb. And one of the reasons why the majority of you all may succumb is because you're not living, moving, and acting and working in the spirit. And you're not following uh, the, uh, the most high in the way and the manner you need to because you all have... Uh, weaken yourself to this world. You do not want to change. You do not want to remove yourself um, from circumstances and situations that involve uh, um, things that are detrimental to your 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 salvation. Um, so therefore, you know you're you're wrestling uh, with spirit. One of the things I uh, wanted to mention with um, that talks about truth is Frederick Douglass, and Frederick Douglass talks about truth this way, and I thought it was it's worthy to, worthy of mentioning. When a great truth wants to get abroad in the world, no power on earth can imprison it or prescribe its limits or suppress it. It bounds to go on until it becomes the thought of the world. Now that it has got fairly mixed in the minds of the few, it's bound to belong, to, I'm sorry, it's bound to become fixed in the minds of the many and, and be supported at last by a great